give you a point of reference of all the information that's on your screen. The live picture is from Gloucester. You can see the radar in the corner, and obviously at the bottom of the screen, we're running any relevant information you need to know about anything going on tonight, anything going on tomorrow, all the information that, that will be important to you as we try to deal with, with what's going on right now. Harvey saying, I'm just, we're enjoying your, your live conversations on the bostonchannel.com, saying the storm features similar to a hurricane. And, and here's a, a point of, of information. If, if you are expecting to fly, especially in the East Coast. In the Northeast, American Airlines is not doing anything until at least 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. They said they shut down They Eastern are shut down in the Northeast. American Airlines. Anyway, that's American Airlines, and I would imagine within 15 minutes or so, we'll hear something from Logan on that front, too. Possibly could yeah. be closing Logan, and also Amtrak service completely suspended right now. They're going to try and clear off the train tracks throughout the night, but right now it just uh, looks like uh, definitely no service um, throughout the morning is definitely a real possibility, so it's going to be tough getting anywhere. Uh, state of emergency and also um, a snow emergency in downtown Boston. People have been urged to stay off the roads there, and Charles Fiendaka is uh, where one of the hot spots is. It's uh, the DPW lot. Or a cold spot. One cold the spot, but they're busy <laughs> there. They, they've got a long night ahead of them. They've got to um, mobilize and get those uh, roads salted and sanded. They do, Bianca. They've got a lot of work cut out for them here. We showed you earlier how they were, you know, using the front end loader to get some of the larger trucks out on the road. But this is what they're doing back here. This is a very small front end loader, and they're loading up some of these smaller trucks to take them out on the roads. Now, the mayor's already said that there are about 300 of these salters and sanders already out there. By 9 o'clock tonight, he says that number is going to go up to 500, which means that people really do need to stay off the road so that these guys can do their work. Work. I mean, the, the main thing that they're trying to do is treat these roads so that this, the snow doesn't stick and it doesn't ice over. You can see this, the salt pile and the, um, the, the sand pile here are, are really kind of dwindling down over time here. It's been very, very busy. I mean, this has been going on since we got here at about 2 o'clock this afternoon. So this is likely to continue throughout the night, too. The mayor is also saying that the streets are not going to be able to be completely cleared off until very late tomorrow. People will have to be patient. And if you do need to get around, he's asking that most people use public transportation. Reporting live from Roxbury, I'm Cheryl Fiendaka, New Center 5. You can hear the workers in the background there. Those plywoods uh, filling up salt. And Cheryl, thank you so much for that report. It's been hard to yeah. keep ahead of it because yeah. it's been falling so fast. And because it's been falling fast and the winds are there, let's go over to Mike Wonka. Mike, are, 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 we haven't heard many damage estimates, but I assume that's just a matter of time before we're going to start hearing Right, those. and what we're seeing is a lot of trees down and trees are hitting power lines. So we're getting some reports of some scattered power outages. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot. Each one of those W's represents where we've had a report of either power line down or tree down. So we've got about 19 of those. You can see where most of those are. They're really down towards the south. Harvey's going to show you that in a minute. Boy, we were just looking at the wind gusts down over the Cape and down to Nantucket. I mean, most of the Cape is now sitting there with wind gusts of over 50 miles per hour. But you see some of those. We're getting reports of power lines down in uh, Kushnet. Uh, in Hanson, we have some trees down. And also, we have some reports in, in Mattapoisett as well with some trees down. Kingston has some trees down, wires down as well. Uh, sandwich, trees and limbs down. So we're getting reports all the way along the South Shore. And this is why I want to say, if you're inland, you're going, well, it's just kind of a gentle snow with a light breeze. That wind is going to pick up because this storm is really just kind of bombing out in so many ways, it's going to be getting so strong. Now, one of the other things I've been watching has been the coast. Let me show you what the high tides look like. These are the tides that we're going to be experiencing later on tonight. And as we switch over, you'll notice that I'm talking about generally about 325 in the morning. Some are a little bit later, some a little bit earlier, but it's right around that time. You've got these strong winds. They're just going to pile the water up. Now, on the south side of the Cape, it's a little bit later. It's about 4, 430. So we're looking at the possibility of minor to moderate flooding in these locations. Boston Harbor, not a lot of wave action going on there, but the surge, that bubble of water that's with it. Newburyport, Revere, Chatham, uh, Sandwich Harbor, we're seeing some reports of, or we're expecting some minor to moderate flooding into those areas. But the areas that we're really concerned with are the major flooding areas. Now, this is going to include Gloucester and Situate. Uh, Sean Kelly is up there, and he's sitting right along at Atlantic Avenue, you can see where that's the fisherman statue that we all know so well. That's an area where they're expecting some splash over. Surge is going to be about three to four feet. That's that 3.4 feet. That's that bubble of water. And then the waves, an additional 17 to 20 feet. So that's why we're seeing so many problems there. And out in situated as well, 
you know, in situ, we had some problems just last week from the storm systems, and Hummer Rock really got flooded. There was a lot of damage there, a lot of rocks coming over the seawall. So, again, we, as we usually do in these situations, the numbered streets, those are the avenues right down there by the water, Cedar Point, which is out by the lighthouse, and Hummer Rock again. So, a surge of 3.4 feet and waves 16 to 18 feet. These will build incredibly fast, and they're timing out just to be about that high tide, which is going to be about 324 in the morning. Ed? Would you expect that, that more wind damage as this thing goes on, or you, you think we're reaching a peak of it? No, I think we're just beginning it, to be honest with you. I think we're going to see more and more wind damage reports coming in, especially along the coast. Uh, we're going to see more and more power outages as well, so be prepared for that kind of a situation. Uh, what we're getting is we're getting reports of the power going out for about 20 minutes and right. coming back on, especially at Martha's Vineyard. Right. It may not be one where you lose power all night, but there's going to be a lot of flickering going on. Those trees are just banging against power lines right now. Mm. And there were reports of thunder, too. Yes. Right, Mike? Yes, so. we've had a number of reports now of thunder and lightning. Most down around the South Dartmouth area is where we've seen a lot of it. Uh, that's where we're seeing kind of the changeover now and a little bit of mixing going on as well. Mm -hmm. And again, the radar is running in the corner of your screen too, so you, you can keep update with, with what Mike and Harvey are talking about exactly where the storm itself is. Some folks are having a little bit of fun though out there. You can, yeah. some can. Let it snow, they're saying in Somerville. This is just one of the photos uploaded to our You Local section on the bostonchannel.com right now. So and, and we're glad and I, that they're happy yes, in part. Yes, and you're participating. This is, this is an interactive process, I and mean, when we're on all night long here so come on participate join in and it's an easy thing to do just go to the bostonchannel.com we're looking at at other times other past storms here rockport seeing 28 inches of snow and in, in times gone by we're not in that neighborhood but we're in a pretty snowy neighborhood right now you're watching new center fives extended coverage of our december snowstorm